Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Altay is the main battle tank being developed for Turkish army and is being dubbed as one of the most modern tanks. It is being developed as a part of Turkish national tank production project which gained the momentum after an agreement was signed between Autocar and the Under Secretariat for Defense Industries of the Republic of Turkey on 30th March 2007. The firm was awarded a contract worth 500 million dollars for design development and production of four prototypes of the tank. On July 29, 2008, Turkey and Dai Rotem signed a 540 million deal for design assistance and technology transfer for tank development. This contract consists of design assistance and technology transfer related to development of systems, armor package, 120 mm guns necessary for Altay tank. The few prominent South Korean firms involved in the Altay tank program are Hyundai Rotem which has provided the production technologies for 120 mm main gun, Samyang Comtech and Pungsan Corporation which has provided the armor technologies and engines by Hyundai Doosan Infracore and transmission by SNT Dynamics. On 9th November 2018, the BMC replaced Autocar as the main contractor responsible for further development of Turkish main battle tank. As per contract, the serial production of 250 Altay tanks will be carried out by BMC. The Altay tanks will be produced in three different configuration which are T1, T2 and T3. Tanks to be produced in T1 phase will have Aslisan, a core active protection system and ERA armor by Rocketsan. The tanks which will be produced in T2 stage will feature enhanced armor system, isolated hull ordnance configuration, laser guided tank gun shooting capability, crew training mode and mobile concealment network track management. The T3 model will have an unmanned turret and new automatic loading system. Out of 250 tanks to be produced, 40 will be in T1 configuration and 210 will be in T2 configuration. There is no information available regarding the number of tanks to be produced in T3 configuration. On 23rd April 2023, the two long awaited prototypes of Altay tank were delivered to Turkish armed forces. These prototypes will be tested for 1.5 to 2 years before the tank enters into mass production. The Turkish firm BMC has planned to commence the mass production of Altay tank after 24 months and complete the production of 40 T1 configuration tanks in 39th month. The first Altay T2 tanks will be delivered in 49th month and deliveries of all 250 tanks will be completed in 87th month. So in summary, Turkey will be completing the production of 250 tanks in a period of over 7.25 years. The Altay main battle tank will be equipped with latest technologies that are used in modern day tanks. It will be a 65 ton main battle tank with a length of 7.3 meters, width of 3.9 meters and height of 2.6 meter. The tank will be manned by a crew of 4 which includes commander, gunner, loader and driver. Altay features a 120 mm 55 caliber smooth bore gun that can fire any ammunition compatible with Stenag 4385. It will also be capable of firing laser guided tank munitions. The tank has 40 round ammunition storage. The fire control system features a 360 degree panoramic stabilized commander's periscope, hunter killer capability, precise optical stabilization, automatic target tracking and TV thermal sights with a laser range finder. The secondary armament of tank includes a remote control weapon system with either 12.7 or 7.62 mm machine gun and 40 mm grenade launcher. It also features a 7.62 mm machine gun which is mounted coaxially to the left of the main armament. The tank also features eight smoke grenade dischargers. The Altay will be initially powered by South Korean Doosan Infracore DB27K four cycle 12 cylinder water cooled diesel engine of 1500 horsepower 
BMC is also developing its 1600 horsepower pack for Alte in collaboration with Italian manufacturer Fiat. The 1500 horsepower engine of Alte will be coupled with automatic transmission having 5 forward and 3 reverse gears. Alte can reach top road speed of 65 km per hour and 45 km per hour off the road with 30% reverse speed. The MBT will be able to cross depths of 4.1 meter in water and it will have an operational range of 450 kilometers. The Alte will feature advanced armor protection designed to withstand a variety of threats on the battlefield. The information about tanks protection is not available in public domain. Turkey has received the technology for armor from South Korean firm Samyang Comtech and Pungsan Corporation. It is expected to use combination of composite and reactive armor. Alte will also boast an active production system called Accor developed by Turkish firm Aslesan. The Accor is a cube with both hard kill and soft kill functionalities as an electronic warfare self-protection suite which provides 360 degree protection against all kinds of anti-tank missiles and rockets for the armored vehicle. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.